Good morning, students. Now we will start from page number four, paragraph number two. That's from while I was wondering. So while I I was wondering, I refers to um, Franz. I was wondering about it all. He was uh, analyzing the whole situation that the atmosphere of the classroom is altogether changed. Hamel is wearing Mr. Hamel is wearing his best dress. Elderly people are sitting in the class. There is silence. Mr. Hamel mounted his chair. Mounted means he sat on his chair. And in the same grave, grave means serious and gentle. As we see from the beginning of the chapter that Mr. Hamel is unusually polite that day. So in gentle tone, in a very polite manner, which he had used to me, said. Now underline this because the, from this you will get a question in your examination. From underline all this, my children. This is the last lesson I shall give you. The order has come from Berlin to teach only German in the schools of Alaska and Lorin. The new master comes tomorrow. This is your last French lesson. I want you to be very attentive. So this was the information that Mr. Hamel gives. Now Franz realizes that. what has happened what was displayed on that bulletin board he said that uh, as we all know that alaska and lorin has been uh, defeated by uh, berlin from by the persians now the order has come that no longer french will be taught in the schools of these two cities only and only germany will be taught so they have not only captured them politically they are also trying to change their education system at all altogether the new master new master means new teacher comes in very next day this is your last french lesson and that's why the name of your chapter is also the last lesson i want you to be very attentive what a thunder clap these words were to me again a question comes from this particular line you are asked to explain this line in your examinations or something so this was a thunder clap thunder clap matlab bilkul bijli gir gayi he was shattered franz was shattered ki what has happened why the his world is all together upset puri duniya ulat pulat ho gayi he is very very upset very very disturbed oh the wretches that was what they had put up at the town hall so that now he realizes that this information was displayed on the bulletin board in the town hall my last french lesson now he's wondering he's thinking so sorry ki hua kya hai why i hardly knew how to write i should never learn any more i must stop there then नाव ही सेज दैट ही डजन नो अब उसको समझ में आ रहा है कि उसको फ्रेंच ना तो लिख नहीं आती है ना ठीक से बोल नहीं आती है कुछ नहीं आता है एंड ही आज बिकॉज ऑफ अ पोलिटिकल रीजन ही इज सपोज टू स्टॉप देन एंड देयर ही फील सॉरी सॉरी फॉर हिमसेल्फ अपने लिए उसको तकलीफ हो रही है आई वॉज फॉर नॉट लर्निंग माई लेसन फॉर सीकिंग बर्थ सेग एंड गोइंग स्लाइडिंग ऑन दिस आर माई बुक्स मीन्स एज वी सॉ इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द चैप्टर ऑल्सो कि फ्रांस के दिमाग में टू आइडियाज वर देयर first thing was to go to the classroom and another idea was he was planning to bunk the class and enjoy the fine weather because it was sunny it was very lovely so he feels sorry that he has done all this in the previous days my books that had seemed such a nuisance a while ago for kuch samay pehle tak bahut musibat na irritating kya hai french padhni hai so he was that way nuisance a while ago so heavy to carry माई ग्रामर एंड माई हिस्ट्री ऑफ द सेंट मतलब सब कुछ बहुत मुसीबत लगता था कि पढ़ना है ग्रामर है लिटरेचर पढ़ो हिस्ट्री पढ़ो नाव एवरी थिंग सीम्स ओल्ड फ्रेंड्स नाव दैट आई कुडेंट गिव अप एंड एम हैमल टू द आइडिया डेट ही वॉज गोइंग अवे वी नो डैट इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ द चैप्टर वी सॉ डेट हैमल वॉज हैविंग इज आयरन रूलर तो ही वॉज अ वेरी वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट टीचर बट स्टिल मिस्टर हैमल ऑल्सो द आइडिया डेट ही इज गोइंग अवे I should never see him again. Made me forget all about his rule and how cranky he was. मतलब अभी तक उसको लगता था मिस्टर हैमल बहुत स्ट्रिक्ट है रूलर से मारते हैं झक्की हैं सनकी हैं बट नाव ऑल ऑफ अ सडन ही द आइडिया डेट मिस्टर हैमल विल नो लॉन्ग अ कम ही इज़ नो लॉन्ग अ गोइंग टू टीच हिम ही विल नेवर बी एबल टू सी मिस्टर हैमल दिस आइडिया बिकम्स वेरी वेरी पेनफुल फॉर फ्रेंड्स तो सब कुछ चेंज हो गया है उसको लिखना नहीं आता है उसको ठीक से फ्रेंच नहीं आती है एंड नेक्स्ट डे ऑनवर्ड्स ही इज़ वो ही विल नेवर बी एव ना नेक्स्ट डे ऑनवर्ड्स ही विल नेवर बी एबल टू लर्न इज फ्रेंच सो ही फील्स सॉरी फॉर नॉट लर्निंग ही फील सॉरी डैट ही वोट बी एबल टू सी मिस्टर हैमल ऑल दो ही वॉज स्ट्रिक्ट टीचर वॉज अ स्ट्रिक्ट टीचर ही वॉज बिट क्रैंकी पर जो भी थे ही वो इट वॉज 
his teacher he was his teacher and he couldn't uh, just uh, digest this idea ki wo chale jayenge it was beyond tolerance poor man it was in honor of this last lesson that he had put on his fine sunday clothes ab usko samajh mein aata why mr hamel is wearing such beautiful dress he was putting wearing these clothes in respect in honor of his uh, and the last lecture that he is going to deliver today he is putting the, he has put on all these clothes to respect to pay tribute to his mother tongue now i understood why the old men of the village were sitting in the back of the room it was because they were sorry too now the villagers they were also very sorry why they were sorry that they had not gone to school more it was their way of thanking our master for his 40 years of faithful service and align this mr hamel had been teaching in that school for 40 long years and of showing their respect for the country that was theirs no more अब वो कंट्री जो उनका नहीं है दे हैव बिकम स्लेव्स ऑफ द जर्मन्स सो दीज पीपल वर आल्सो देयर बिकॉज दे आल्सो हैड नॉट पेड अटेंशन टू देयर मदर टंग एज आई टोल्ड यू वी टेक मदर टंग फॉर ग्रांटेड हमेशा लगता है अच्छा मदर टंग है पढ़ लेंगे हमको आती है हम सीख जाएंगे जल्दी क्या है सो डैट इज़ अवर एटीट्यूड इट्स कैलस एंड टेकन फॉर ग्रांटेड एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स अवर मदर टंग सो now he realizes that why villagers were there why mr hamel was wearing good clothes why everybody was silent while i was thinking of all this now ye sare thoughts uske dimag mein chal rahe hain jab jaise mr hamel ne bataya ki now this is their last french lesson after this they won't be able to uh, study french anymore i heard my name called it was my turn to recite mr hamel has given him homework to learn the participles so it was his turn to recite those participles what would i not have given to be able to say that dreadful rule for the participle i do very loud and clear and without one mistake now franz wanted to give his best presentation ki bilkul gal mein mistake now ekdam clearly explain kare but i got mixed up on the first words and stood there holding on to my decks my heart beating and not daring to look up so her friends was very upset he was all sweating his heart was beating loudly he was afraid to look up because he actually didn't knew participles but still he was compelled to learn he was compelled to recite and that day he wanted to learn but it was probably too late ab kuch nahi ho sakta tha bas ek din bacha tha aur us ek din mein kuch bhi seekhna naya le yaad karna possible nahi tha i heard mr hamel say to me i won't scold you little franz you must feel bad enough that day mr hamel instead of scolding him he says that he feels sorry see how it is every day we have said to ourselves ah i have plenty of time i'll learn it tomorrow to mr hamel bhi wohi kehte hai ki hum hamesha bolte hai seekh lenge jaldi kya mother tongue to hai aa jayegi kar lenge jaise hum hindi ko treat karte hai apni mother tongue ko treat karte hai theek hai aati to hai karna pat ka pata to hai koi bhi padha dega koi bhi kar dega so that is our attitude and now you see where we have come out learning uh, that's the great trouble with alaska she puts off learning till tomorrow hamesha hum talte rehte na ki ho jayega kar lenge to now those fellows out there will have the right those fellows the people those who have captured these uh, citizens these cities of alaska and lorin wo jo uske captures hai wo log kya kahenge how is it you pretend to be frenchman and yet you can neither speak nor write your own language तो वो लोग कैसे मजाक उड़ाएंगे अगर आप फ्रेंच में हैं अगर हम हिंदी भाषी हैं हमारी मातृभाषा हिंदी है तो हमको हिंदी आनी चाहिए तो वही वो फ्रेंच में है तो कह रहे कि तुमको ना तो अपनी लैंग्वेज आ लिखनी आती है ना बोलनी आती है एंड यू प्रिटेंड दैट यू आर फ्रेंच मैन बट यू आर नॉट दी वर्स टू अर लिटिल फ्रेंड्स वी ऑल हैव अ ग्रेट डील टू रिप्रोच आर सेल्स अंडर लाइन दिस लाइन ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू विल गेट अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस लाइन ऑल्सो तो मिस्टर हैमल कहते हैं पर गलती सारी की सारी तुम्हारी नहीं है यू आर नॉट दी ओनली पर्सन टू बी ब्लेम्ड योर पेरेंट्स वर नॉट एंशियस टू हैव यू लर्न दे प्रेफर टू पुट यू टू वर्क ऑन अ फार्म और एट दी मिल्स सो एज टू हैव अ लिटिल मोर मनी पेरेंट्स की गलती थी बिकॉज एज वी सी इन विलेजेस आज भी ऐसे ही होता है शायद कि कभी काम है घर में रुक जाओ फार्म पे चले जाओ ये कर लो सो टू अर्न अ लिटिल मनी दिस इंस्टेड ऑफ सेंडिंग दियर चिल्ड्रेन टू स्कूल दिस सेंड इट टू द फार्म्स and i mr hamel blames himself also i have been to blame also have i not often sent you to water my plants instead of learning your lessons when when i wanted to go to fishing did i not just give you a holiday 
तो मिस्टर हैमल अपने आप को भी ब्लेम करते कि जब उनका पढ़ाने का मन नहीं होता था या फिशिंग पे जाना होता था तो छुट्टी कर देते थे या बच्चों को पेड़ों में प्लांट्स में पानी डालने के लिए भेज देते थे सो एवरीबडी वॉज टू बी ब्लेम स्टूडेंट्स वर नॉट एंशियस टू लर्न पेरेंट्स वर मोर एंशियस टू सेंड एम टू दी फार्म्स टू वर्क and even mr hamel was also not so serious although he has been teaching them for the past 40 years par wo bhi utne serious nahi the jitna unko as a teacher hona chahiye tha so all the three people are to be blamed teachers students and their parents we'll continue with this tomorrow